Hey guys, it's me, Jim, and I'm back with today's video, and this is my wife, Elena. Hi! Today I wrote up 10 music-related questions that I'm going to ask her. I think she knows what one or two of them are, but she definitely doesn't know what all of them are. And I'm interested <laughs> to see her actual reactions to them. We'll see. I don't really know too much about music, so hopefully this is more uh, just opinion-based. <laughs> okay, so my first question. Before we met, who was your favorite guitar player? I'd probably say Jimi Hendrix. Um, because before we met, I knew very little about guitar. There wasn't somebody that like you like listened to and you thought, oh, that's a really good guitar player? Uh, not anybody I would know by name. Okay, that's fair. I'd, li I'd listen to a lot of different bands and I would think, oh, that's, that's awesome, I love that, you know, but I wouldn't like know them by name. I didn't know my favorite. I didn't have like a favorite. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> what makes somebody a good musician? Well, it's not just one thing, uh, but I think the most important thing that makes a good musician is uh, somebody that can put their emotion into the music. I think that's one of the most important things because music is really meant to make us feel something. So that would have to be the most important, but there's a lot of other things too. <laughs> okay. Now you're a singer. If you could have any singer's voice, who would it be? I don't think I would want anybody else's voice. I think that's weird. Yeah, I think that's weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want you could go around with like singing with somebody else's voice. That'd be strange. <laughs> <laughs> now, sticking on the topic of singing, who would you say is the best singer ever? In your opinion, of course. Well, my favorite singer, because of the emotions, would probably be Amy Winehouse. I've always just really connected with her music just because I'm a sappy, heartbroken teenager at heart. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna be like, you're not a teenager. <laughs> at heart, at heart. Who is your favorite guitar player now, slash best? Well, that's easy, that's Gary Moore. He's my favorite, he makes that guitar sing. He's beautiful. He is the best guitar player to ever live. Don't fight with me on that. <laughs> if you could play any instrument and have complete mastery of it right now, what instrument would you choose and why? Woo! Okay, um... I think I know the answer to this. It would probably be... the trumpet. Really? Yes. And I say that only because that's like a woodwind instrument would be really hard for me to learn just in general um so if i could master it i think that would add like so much more to the music that we make and just music in general that i could make um because you know how to play everything else so i don't need to master an instrument that you already know <laughs> <laughs> which of these lovely instruments behind me is your favorite one? Oh, this is that's an easy one. My favorite, and this is, doesn't mean that it's the best by any means, but my favorite is the Jazzmaster, of course. Uh, that's the most sentimental to me, to us, as a couple, to me. <laughs> to us. <laughs> um, that that wrote that was the one. That was our first song together, right? Wasn't that? Or yeah, was, had yeah, to have been. Yeah, it was very, very surf rock, you know, song, and it just fit that so well, and and that definitely helped. Uh, that guitar definitely helped us fall in love together <laughs> for sure. Now, this is the last one I'm going to ask you about my guitars. Okay. Outside of favorite, if we got a call right now, and they said you have to load a van, you're going on a tour, you're going to be gone for three months. You get to bring one guitar with you to go perform with. Which guitar would you have me play? It's to do everything, all of the music that we do. Well, that's a tough one. Probably the blue PRS. <laughs> really? Yeah, because that one's the most versatile. When it comes to performing our music on, like, for other people, I'd want a guitar that would be the most versatile. And even though that doesn't have what we like to call the whammy bar. Um, it still is pretty versatile with 
with the sound that needs to be achieved for all of our songs. I could have sworn that would that that would not have been one I would have thought you would have picked. I would have thought you would have picked the purple PRS or the Gibson, the three three nine. Well, it does stay in tune now. It does. It does but stay we'll get in to tune that now. later. Um, <laughs> It's also kind of like fragile in my mind. <laughs> like, it's like it's a fragile dog. I don't know. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> so I, a, a, a thing about it is, I know that the only Gibson that I ever gigged with with you, uh, no, I gigged with two. Um, I gigged with the the Dove, mm -hmm. the acoustic, but that literally, that's not a guitar you put on a stand in between sets or songs or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. That is like secure the guitar, make sure it's safe at all costs. <laughs> and the only other Gibson that we ever gigged with was that the black one, the black Midtown Custom. So, and that one, again, it went right back in its case after. But the reason why those are so scary to gig with, all Gibsons, it doesn't matter if it's a Les Paul or uh, the 339, the way the headstock is, if it falls, it's gonna shatter, boom, you've killed all the value of the guitar and it will never be the same. I don't care what anyone says, unless you're buying it really cheap on the second hand market, you get a good deal, but it's just, it's never the same. I'm notorious for breaking shit. Breaking everything. Breaking shit. She's notorious for breaking shit. On accident and on purpose. So. <laughs> Speaking of gigs, um, two part question. Okay. What was your favorite gig of all time and what was the worst gig of all time? Can you walk us through both? Yes. Um, oof. The worst gig. Two I, come to mind. <laughs> I think of, when I think of us playing, I think of one in particular that was just head and shoulders. So. It's, it's really a toss-up. The worst one is a toss-up for me. So we, uh, one was we were playing in a hallway pathway, like on the outside patio of a restaurant. We were just right, just right on the pathway and people were just walking by. There was a table right in front of us with like a family <laughs> and they were like four feet away. They weren't even that far. Um, and we were supposed to play inside and then they moved us outside and it was just so terrible. <laughs> just like people walking by and then uh, didn't some guy drop the ukulele? He knocked over the ukulele. Yeah, he did. But we were yeah. stupid. We we left the ukulele it's... standing up against my uh, hot rod. Well, deluxe. there was no room. <laughs> it was, I mean, we it was smaller than this, what we were performing and that's not a joke. We like, our couch is about the size of what we were performing. The best gig would have to be when we played together at, um, it was at Park and Rec. Oh. Uh, for our, like, <sighs> announcement, like, hey, we, was it after we got married or? That was after we went to the courthouse before okay. we had the fake ceremony. Okay. So, yeah, we had a, <laughs> so we went to the courthouse and then we let everybody know, hey, we got married and we're going to have a ceremony later. And we performed for all of our friends because we we're going to have a tiny ceremony. Um, so we performed for like all of our friends that weren't going to be there. And that was probably the most fun because all of our friends got to hear like the music that we made together and, um, you know, like see kind of how our love like grew through music. So that was probably my favorite. I w yep. you'd probably guess I would say our wedding, but we were pretty. That was the worst. <laughs> I would say that was worse than any of the other ones. I I, I don't know if I counted it as a gig. That was yeah, it wasn't a gig. It but was just I was <laughs> I was wasted. Very inebriated. Oh my god! And the worst part is we have all this like super high quality footage of it, and, it's so and it terrible. just sounds like garbage. It's so so embarrassing. You should put a clip in. No, it. It was really no, you don't want to see it. It's like a, really like a bad. Clip. It's really yeah, bad. it's really <laughs> bad. Not my proudest hour, but we weren't parents then, so not that big of a deal. Yes, yes. Now this isn't a question about like your favorite player or like the favorite like songs or anything like that. Okay. But who would you say like what is like your best guitar tone like? Like your favorite, like like Gary Moore's kind of like drive on the solo, or like a Corey Wong kind of like that clean that funk. funk, like just in that kind. That's kind of how I'm asking the question. The clean, like '50s '60s sound, like uh, like you know, like that surfy, that doo wop, that kind of like 
sound where some some of it gets like gritty but for the most part it's the really like glassy clean yeah reverb on top like a real reverb mm -hmm. and just that quack quack really short sustain yeah. yeah i'd say that's probably my favorite just i mean that's the type of music that i like listening to the most <laughs> yeah that's fair enough why don't you watch my youtube videos <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's because I don't really know about guitars and I'm not really interested in learning about guitars. And you already told me what the videos are about before you post them anyway. So. Can you figure why you even bother at that point? Yeah, I mean, half the time I hear what you're saying before you post it. And that's pretty much all the questions I had. Uh, I just want to say thank you to my wife for being a good sport and sitting through this. And hopefully you'll see her a little bit more on the channel. I have some old clips of us that I'm going to be posting. And also, our record is almost done. We're going back into the studio. We're, she's obviously singing on it, and I'm kind of doing everything else. And we'll see how it comes out. Hopefully you guys will be able to listen to it relatively soon. And yeah, until then, please... Give me a like, a comment, a subscription would be wonderful, but like is the best. I didn't Do know it. that about YouTube. That's really weird. Like, they only recommend it based on, like, likes. So if, like, you don't have as many subscribers, but, but a billion people like. like your video, then it'll pop up in more people's feeds. I didn't know that. So, just thought that was interesting food for thought. So share it with all your friends to get them to like it too, then. Yeah. <laughs> but until then, guys, enough of this shameless promotion. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.